We are at the Sand City desalination plant. This was built back in 2010. This desalination plant takes brackish water. So they're vertical intake wells at the beach that are partly ocean salt water, partly fresh water. We bring that into the, into the plant, we pump it from the wells, and then it goes through high pressure pumps to push through reverse osmosis membrane. So that's like a filtration system. So for this system, it's vertical intake wells along the beach, about 60 feet deep. So the fact that they're in the sand and not an open water intake, that eliminates that marine life getting into the intake and into the plant. And then for the outfall, it's actually discharge piping within the beach system. Um, so that again, doesn't go directly out to the ocean. And we have restrictions on our permits where we can't discharge above a certain salinity level. With desalination, you have the energy cost, you have the front end capital cost. Uh, but the benefit that you get is it's drought proof. The ocean is there, it's sustainable, and at times like this, when you need every drop, it is something that keeps supplying that critical water. We pursued it because over the last 30 years, uh, all the cities are wondering where are we going to get a water source. And I tell people all the time, go to Sand City if you want to invest, you know, we've got water. Knowing that we're not going to run out of water, knowing that even if a drought comes, we're going to have water. Um, it's, it's reassuring. It's pretty hard. Uh, we had to install a, a water softener to make sure that our dishwasher didn't get gummed up. Not the best flavored water, um, but you know, it, it works and it's safe to drink. I'm Desal is a good option for the right place under the right conditions. And the right place minimizes the ecological impacts. And the right conditions are, it's an area that is really water short and risks really suffering during a drought. That's not everywhere. It also needs some serious funding, and so that's another consideration. But it shouldn't be dismissed because it's been really successful all over the world, and it could really help us out if the climate change future we're looking at pans out.